In these next couple of videos, we're gonna be talking about different types of samples. In this video in particular, we're gonna be focusing on anecdotal evidence. So let's get started. So let's break down this terminology a little bit. Let's start with the word anecdote. Anecdote literally means an observation that is used to explain a larger group. Now using an observation to explain a larger group can actually be useful. Nowadays, qualitative researchers exploit certain examples to try to explain a larger group as a whole. So for example, if you're trying to explain how a certain sample behaves, you might pick one prototypical example and use that to say, hey, this is pretty much what everyone is doing in my sample. I just want to show you one example of this so you can see what that's like. That's actually an okay thing to do. But anecdotal evidence is just a little bit different. Let's talk about that. Anecdotal evidence is when you use an observation as an inference. Basically, you're just using a sample size of one. And that can be really, really dangerous. Now let me explain the differences between these two things that we've talked about so far. If you take a sample that has, you know, a large sample, and you use one thing in that sample as like your prototypical example of your sample, that's okay because you've gathered a sample, you've analyzed that whole sample, and you're trying to find like a perfect example that represents your sample. Whereas anecdotal evidence is when your one observation that you're using is the sample, and you're making an inference off of a sample size of one. That is really, really dangerous because your sample might not represent the population, but if you have a big sample, you can pick out someone who you believe best represents your sample and therefore probably best represents the population. So there's two different types of anecdotes that you can use, but anecdotal evidence is typically a bad thing. It has a negative connotation and it's typically used when you use one thing as your entire sample and you make an inference off of that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now in the next video, we're gonna go over some examples of anecdotal evidence. So I'll see you then. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.